Hey guys, welcome to this episode of Oz Outdoors and today we're going to be looking at electric pumps for pumping up our tyres. What I normally use is this one here, bought off eBay. Um, has the battery that clips in there. Got all your options there. Uh, it's actually quite curl in shape because you can, you can rotate it and get a straight line or use a sort of trigger mount which is a little bit more ergonomically comfortable and then of course your hose screws in the end here like so and there we go so it does a good job uh, it can pump up two tyres from a full charge maybe not quite full pressure but certainly enough pressure to get you home or where you want to go and uh, it's quite compact battery clips out I fold it up, put it in the bag on the back of the bike with all the other repair gear, and it works quite well. You do only get two pumps out of it. And I think I paid something like about $70 or $80 for that one. I just got a bargain advertised uh, online through AliExpress. This pump here, car air pump, $15, would you believe? $15 Australian for that. Now, I haven't even opened it, so let's have a look and we'll see what this one's like. Carefully open that up. What do we got inside? We've got okay. We've got a USB plug-in charger, so that's fine. We can use that. All right. Okay. So we've got a built-in hose, and it's quite compact. So it'd be interesting to see what sort of pump time we get out of this one. Let's have a look we've got. There's power on it. It's got a light on the front there which could come in handy. Hopefully never riding at night. Oh, there we go. Yep. It's got two bars of charge. It's reading in, uh, let's see if we get PSI, which we're used to. Yep, there we go. So you simply press the button again and you get a different calibration or sorry a different uh, scale which is in PSI and that's what I want and there's a plus and minus button there that might be a preset I'm not sure look at that preset at 35.5 PSI so that's ideal all right very compact I like it for 15 bucks that's a bargain but uh, what we need to know is what's the duration of it will it pump up a flat tire to full pressure and how many times so let's go and test that out now have a look at this guys over here I've plugged this into charge so it simply plugs in there and you don't have to remove a battery like I do my other one so that's really good and I'll just turn the light out so you can hopefully see this but it has a red indicator light on the USB socket right there so i'm guessing that'll either go out or turn green when it's fully charged so we'll come back in a while and uh, we'll see what we've got we can disconnect that charger and what i'll do now is and it came with with instructions too so a bit of info about that i'm going to do a test pump on the front 26 inch wheel in fairness as an average uh, between the 24 on the rear there and uh, 27.5s or 29s even so we'll do the 26 and I'll do it to 30 psi because I think that's a fair pressure that'll comfortably get you home or continue riding whatever you want to do but we're going to see how many times this compressor will pump up a 26 inch tire to 30 psi 30.5 Okay, it's, it'll automatically cut out by itself. And there you go, it cut out by itself. How good's that? All right. So we'll let the tire down again to completely flat by removing the valve. And we'll try it again. There we go, guys. Um, automatically cut out at 30.5, which I preset it at. And 
it's showing three bars out of four still on the gauge there so possibly you could pump maybe four times but certainly one more you definitely get three pumps out of this out of one charge um, possibly even four but uh, I don't want to overheat it but what a bargain AliExpress 15 bucks um, and it's lightweight and it's compact so 